What's going on YouTube? Gabriel right here representing the Movement Towards Improvement. Today's video I wanted to talk about success principles, okay? Not necessarily the small minute details, but more of the bigger picture steps that are gonna help us get where we want to go. For example, let's say you said, Gabe, I want a golf swing that's gonna get me on tour. Well, that would be a very hard thing to quantify because there's so many different swings on tour. I mean, there's guys that are across the line, laid off, open club face, closed club face, one planers, two planers, stack and tilt. So to try to find the small details that are gonna get us there would be hard. But if we can look at the success principles that gets each different swing there, then I think we're on to something. So let me share with you guys how I've been able to improve my golf game, improve my YouTube videos, grow my movement towards improvement brand, and how I think this can help you achieve your golfing goals. So for me right now, I've been focusing a lot more on my YouTube videos, and my movement towards improvement brand and growing that. So I haven't really been focusing on trying to improve my golf game. And because I've been able to improve my golf game over the years, you can use that same process you use to improve at anything in life, whether it's a sport, whether it's cooking, whatever it is, if you improve to something, you can use that same process towards something else. So I'm using that process I used to improve at golf to improve on my videos. So let me share with you guys just a few stats that I have had on my YouTube videos. When I'm looking at how to improve my YouTube videos, I'm really looking at three main analytics. That's views, minutes, watch, and subscribers. So real quick, before I share with you guys some of my stats, I'm not sharing this with you to come from an arrogant or a cocky place. I just feel like if you're gonna get advice from somebody on something, they need to be, um, you know, they need to have the results that they're teaching up. If I'm teaching you on how to improve, then I think, I should have some sort of results to back up what I'm saying. So my views per month when I first started making videos again in November were 53,000 for the month. So if the month of November I started making videos, for the whole month I accumulated 53,000. In February I got 127,000, in May I got 223,000, and now in July I'm at 291,000 views for the month. So as you can see I've been able each month to increase my view count. Now for subscribers, in November when I first started, it was 287 subscribers I gained for the month. And then in February, it was 533, and now we're at over 1,000 subscribers a month. So I'm just sharing that with you guys, just to kind of get a little credibility that, hey, Gabe has been able to improve, and the stuff I'm gonna share with you does work. So the first thing you need when you start any endeavor is commitment and work ethic. These two things go hand in hand. Commitment to me means you're gonna put in the time when you don't want to. All this discipline, all this motivation doesn't even matter until you're tired, until results aren't coming, until you're sick. And that's when commitment comes in, when you put in the work when you don't want to. Work ethic means you put in as much time as possible. You're consistent with your work ethic as well. You don't just do a whole bunch of work for one month, take a one month off. For my videos, I've been able to put out at least one video every other day for the last eight months. And because of that, I've been able to get more views, more subs. Next up is experimentation. You need to experiment. You're not going to know how to get to where you want to go. It isn't an exact ingredient list like you're cooking a cake. Okay, it's not like, okay, if I work on my swing this long today, hit this many balls, working on that, do this many putts, play this many rounds, I'm gonna be 3.1 strokes better in two months and 10 days. It doesn't work like that. I'm going to have to practice more on some things than you will, and what I have to do to improve will be different than what you have to work on to improve. So you're not gonna know. Don't get caught up on the how. How am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do that? We don't know, and that's why we have to experiment. The way that I experimented with my YouTube videos was I made every type of vid possible. Videos with other professional golfers, other, uh, other juniors, young juniors, older juniors, other instructors, course vlogs, what's in the bags. Any video I could make with anybody I did. And because of that, I've had some of my most successful videos. That top ranked junior video I did with Davis was my most successful video, but I never made a video like that before. So you're not gonna know what's gonna work. You need to try new things. One of the other things I did, uh, I mean, kind of experimented, is once I studied other YouTubers, I, I said, how can I get more subscribers? Well, first thing I noticed was some people had this thing called in-video programming, which is this little subscribe icon on the top left or right of the screen, right? You hover over it, in-video programming, people can click that to subscribe. So once I put that in there, 
I got more subscribers. Once I started saying in my videos subscribing, which in marketing is called a call to action, I'm like, hey you guys, it's Gabriel Rod here. Thanks for watching. PG Tour Driven the Movement Towards Improvement. Subscribe. Once I started doing that, I started getting more subscribers. Then I started doing giveaways. Once I started putting in video programming, telling people to subscribe and doing giveaways, boom, more subscribers. Then what I did was once I started showing people what I was going to give away, not just tell them they could win a giveaway, but hey, here's the physical thing, you have a chance to win this, I started getting more subscribers. So experiment, try anything and everything, and that will definitely help you. So that leads me into my next point, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't. Once you've put in some time, you have a, a good work ethic, you've put something out there, now it's time to see what works, what doesn't. For me, when I look at my stats and my analytics, I know course vlogs do well. I know what's in the bags do well. I know videos on gaining distance do well. But I also want to position myself as an instructor so I still do tips and drills and not only course vlogs. So make sure even in your golf swing, I know a lot of golfers have journals. So each day they write down what they're working on and if they're hitting it really well, they write that down and maybe the next day they switch to a different swing thought or work on something else so now they're hitting it bad. So they can go back and go, oh, when I was working on keeping that club a little more out in front of me, I was hitting it well, and they can go back to that. So always look at what's working, keep that, build upon it, and what's not, kick that away to the curb. Next point is to learn. We always, every day, if you can, always try to learn some more information, whether it's from another player, another instructor. For me, in my YouTube videos, I went online and I looked at other successful YouTubers, not even only successful golf YouTuber, YouTubers, but just any other YouTuber in general that had millions of views, high subscriber bases. And I tried to see how they edit their videos. How did they get subscribers? When do they put out videos? How do they do their editing? So always make sure you're learning from yourself, from your stuff, but also what the other top players, or for me, other YouTubers are doing. Next up on the success principle list could be the biggest one. And you need to know that when you start something, you're gonna hit adversity. Results are gonna hit, be slow. You're gonna hit plateaus, people. It's going to be hard. It's not gonna be bread and butter, ooh, jelly and honey. It's not gonna be smooth sailing, okay? Uh, even for me, things get hard, and every time something gets hard or results are slow or I'm hitting a plateau, I just say this is how it's supposed to be. This is part of the process. Success and improvement's not like this. It's not straight up. It's like maybe here, flat, up, flat, or all squiggly as you go up. It's a chaotic um, journey. It really is. But that's part of the process. And if you know the process, and you can have security going, hey, what? Before I started this, I knew I was going to hit a plateau. Before I started this, I knew things weren't going to be smooth all the time. So understand that and embrace it. That's part of the process. Don't let it demotivate you. Don't let it slow you down. Keep moving. Another tangent that's relative to adversity is to embrace your doubts, securities, worries, and fears. These are things that we need to accept and embrace and not suppress. For instance, one of my fears was, you know, for me, I have a lot of energy and I always wanted to be entertaining in my videos where I thought that I felt that each video almost needed to put on a show where if I put out a video like this where I'm just talking, you guys aren't seeing my swing, it's not entertaining like a course vlog, I'm not doing something funny, that you guys wouldn't like it. So the first video I put out where I just stood in front of a camera and talked, and the response was good, it was like my mind was blown. It was like a huge uh, revelation, it was like a huge weight lifted off my shoulders because I felt like I didn't need to be something to make a good video. I could just come up here, speak my mind, and you guys um, had a good, response to that video so for me that was like oh wow like because I put that up and I was nervous I was scared I was like man I'm not showing you my swing it wasn't entertaining and that was a fear I had to get over I have fears on that I'm not going to think of enough videos to make or the videos that I've made in the past aren't going to be as the ones I'm going to make in the future so these are all running through my mind all the time the thing you can't do is dwell on them don't focus on them they're going to come let them go boom back to the process that's all that mind chatter, drama bullshit that you don't want to feed yourself into, okay? Oh, people are gonna like this video. Uh, they're not gonna like me or my personality. I don't have a good swing. I'm not a scratch handicapper. We all have some sort of value we can offer and it's just trying to find what you can offer and giving that to people. 
Okay, you guys, that's some of my success principles. At the top, commitment and work ethic. Making sure you're putting in the time even when you don't want to and you're doing it every day consistently. Next up, learn. Make sure you're always learning from other golfers, other instructors, from me, other YouTubers. Whatever it is, pick up a book, go watch a video, continue to learn. See what's not working, see what is working. You never want to keep something around if it's not working. Throw it away and keep adding, trying new things, and building upon what is working. Adversity. Accept. Know that adversity is going to come, results are going to be slow, you're going to hit plateaus. Understand that before you even start the journey, whether it's weight loss, weight gain, golfing, videos, understand it's going to be slow sometimes. If you know that, if you know that going in, when it happens, you're like, you know what, I knew this was going to happen, I'm going to keep learning and keep pushing, I'm going to get through it. Boom. Also, next up, embrace your insecurities, doubt, worries, and fears. I don't care if you have a, a fear of the first tee shot or of a fear of the judgment of other friends when you're playing in a tournament, or for me, not making good enough videos, not thinking of enough video ideas, um, not being entertaining enough, you know, whatever it may be, do not suppress those. Go towards those and, and, and conquer them. Go, what do I have to do to overcome this? And practice it the most. Actually do those the most. So for me, if I'm afraid of not making a video entertaining enough, I'll just put out a video like this where I'm just talking to a camera and throw it out there. I was nervous, I was scared, it went good, and now I make more of these videos. All right, you guys, hope that helped you. This is me ending the video. Gabriel right here, representing the movement towards improvement. Hit me up on Facebook, Gabriel M. Ryder, Instagram, PGA Tour Driven. Subscribe, all links down below. I do want to do a quick shout out for everyone who bought a movement towards improvement bracelet. I just shipped out uh, 60 of these wristbands this morning to Taiwan, to Germany, UK, Australia. It's so awesome, you guys. I do always want to appreciate my thanks. If you guys want to pick one up, links, once as I said, down below. You guys, this is Gabriel right here saying, keep showing up and trust the process. Peace.